Now, News 3 Sports with Megan Plain. A 757 product competes on college basketball's biggest stage tonight as Duke and Texas Tech square off in the Sweet 16. Blue Devils starting setter Mark Williams, key for Duke. The former Norfolk Academy standout is among the Blue Devils leaders in rebounding and averages double figures in scoring. Tonight, putting each of those skills on display. Trilling 10-2 in the first half, Jeremy Roach gets it to Williams, who will dunk it to pull within six of the Red Raiders. A little deja vu with 2.33 to go in the half. Roach again drives to the basket and again finds Williams. On the other end of the floor, showing up why he's the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. He's got a huge block heading into halftime, where Duke trails 33-29. Williams, he's unbelievable tonight with 16 points, eight rebounds, and three blocks. And the best moment has got to be this dunk right here. I mean, come on. Behind with 2.57 to go now, we're going to see Paulo Banchero, who sinks the three to give Duke the lead. And they never trail again. Blue Devils win this one 78-73, advancing to the Elite Eight. Victory number 100 for Coach K in the NCAA Tournament. Duke's rival UNC still alive as well. Their Sweet 16 matchup against UCLA taking place at 9.40 tomorrow night. And you can catch that game live right here on News 3. Duke's Williams, not the only Hampton Roads product, still competing in the NCAA tournament. And when Kansas and Providence face off tomorrow night, there will be some 757 on 757 crime. Kansas is home to former Norfolk Academy standout David McCormick. The 6'10 forward is one of the Jayhawks' leaders in blocks and rebounds and averages double figures in scoring. Providence, meanwhile, is home to former Churchland standout Nate Watson. The 6'10 center is the team's leading scorer and among the Friars' leaders in blocks and rebounds. Providence is also home to assistant coach Ivan Thomas, a Norfolk native who played high school ball at Norview. His coaching career, including a stop at Kickatan High School, where he was at the helm for seven years, and he also coached the Boo Williams 17U team. Thomas in his seventh season with the Friars. Hamilton. Former Old Dominion assisted Amaka Agugwa Hamilton officially taking the reins at UVA today. She is now the head coach of the Cavaliers women's basketball team, taking over a program that won just five games the past season. It's just a very, very strong brand. And being from this state, I understand that. And I understand what having Virginia on your chest means and the pride that goes with that. And it's not just what you do on the court. It's how you carry yourself. It's the character of our program. It's, it's how we impact our community. Agugua Hamilton was on staff for the Monarchs from 2011 to 13 and was most recently the head coach at Missouri State. She's also been an assistant at VCU. But man, those games tonight, oh my the Duke goodness. game, it was so good. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I love it that you kind of can made the connection to the 757 flavors that we still, you know, because with the Virginia teams out, it's kind of like, well, who, you know, who, I know, who am right? I pulling but for now? It, we see this year in and year out. When we get to March Madness this time of year, there's always so many guys from our area competing yeah. with all the talent that comes out of the 757. But that Duke, Tennessee, uh, Texas Tech game, that was. That was a good one. That was for real. That was a good one. All right. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> we are back right after this.